Hi guys, it's Sam, and I thought I would do an updated what's in my purse because I'm about to, I am about to switch out bags. And the bag that I have currently have, and I'm not sure if I did this before with this exact bag. I might have, so uh, skip watching this video if you've seen it. It's probably mostly the same stuff, although some things have changed. So this is my current bag. For, this is a work bag, by the way. And I do work at a school, so I feel like I can get away with wearing more fun pieces, I guess, and things that you wouldn't, some people might not bring to work with them. And I totally understand this is not a work bag for most people. And I, I'm, I don't know, I want to get a grown up bag, but I also like having, bringing this, and the kids really like seeing this stuff, so this is a Forever 21 bag that I'm currently using, but as you can see, it's huge, and I, I stuff it, I stuff it, so I'm hoping that what doesn't happen is that I put the same amount of this stuff into this smaller bag that I want to transfer to, and this is a Harajuku bag, and so it has a fun print on there, you can see the little, what I, they look like dolls to me, and it's just a really fun print. It kind of looks like a diaper bag, so I think I tried switching to this last year, and I don't know, for some reason I just didn't love it. I carry so much stuff that that's what's, what is happening to my leather bags or faux leather bags is the, the strap at this part right here, let's say this was leather, it's starting to like pull apart because there's so much weight to, to the bag. So this is going to be what's in my work bag slash cleaning out and consolidating into the newer ones so I already I tried to film this before so the notebook is out already but this was in my bag I swear uh, this is my notebook and it's much smaller I don't know I guess compared to my hand it's much smaller than the 8x11 I had I got this at Walmart and I really like the print and there's a pocket in here it's a very small pocket but there's a pocket in here and there's this little uh, elastic thing that holds it together and I really like having this small notebook so I'm going to put that in here and I want, I saw a bag on Amazon that is literally a diaper bag, but it has so diaper bags. The thing is they have so many pockets and that's what I really like. That's why I like this bag because there's three pockets in the front and then there's pockets on the side and then there's even like this little thing. So this doesn't have as many pockets, but I'm thinking I really have to downsize. Next is this, which I am keeping. This is my, uh, my, a bag for anything. I just, I use it for, uh, bringing stuff back home. I use it for the kids. It's just a really great go-to bag. And it does fold up, which I never do. I should probably start. But I'm just gonna fold it up like this and put that in here. And my wallet, this is a, the wallet that I got for Christmas, and I love it. It is so pretty, and I love, like, rubbing on it because it just feels really nice. It does have the RFID protection, which I really like. It gives you a sense of security. It's one of those things that I never really thought about, but I've been hearing about more and more. And so it's nice to have a little bit more protection because, you know, once you put your wallet in your bag, when do you ever think about it again until you, you know, need to buy something? Here is my umbrella. And this is just one of those things that I have all the time. I do read the weather, but there are some times where you get caught off guard. So I really like to have this in my bag. Although it's one of those, you know, it's not one of those windproof ones. So it just, I don't know, it doesn't matter. This I'm probably going to take out. I did keep this in for the rain as well, but... I'm just not a hat person, so this is going to go into my collection of hats. I think I have, I don't even have a handful. So I like hats, I like beanies and stuff for the winter time, but caps and hats, I don't think I have a head for hats. Some people have all the luck. And I am going to keep this plastic bag. I know that sounds weird, but I have had so many times where I have needed this plastic bag, whether my shoes get dirty or and it happens okay it has happened to me and, or i just need to uh put i just need an extra bag so this doesn't take up that much room when it's folded down and there is a difference between this bag and this bag i don't put dirty things into this bag okay next is 
This is my little pedicure and manicure set thing. And this might be one of the things that I just take out the clipper because I've only reached for that. I haven't reached for, for the other things in here. So that I'm going to put to the side. I just stuck these two things in here. I'm probably going to take them out. I don't know. I just... I felt like the need to have these pencils with me. So these are from Bando. And that's a company that you can find at Macy's. And I believe they have their own website. They just make some really cute things. So there's gel pens. I'll leave that to the side. And then this is uh, cute stickers. And I'll just show you a page. I mean, they're all cute. But I just want to get you a page with lots of stickers in there. So that can be put to the side. A pair of scissors. Definitely keeping these. I I have used these several times on many occasions. And this is um, something that I have in my regular purse too. You just never know when you're going to need scissors. You have a snag on your pants or your sweater. Or um, what else have I used it for? I just I have used it several times at work and at home. So I, or you want to, yeah, it's just... It's just good to have scissors with you. So I'm going to leave that in here. And I keep it, uh, not that these are really, really sharp or anything, but I keep these in here to have it protected. And this was a Sephora bag that my sister gave me. So I will put that in there. An old medicine bottle. I just have a lot of garbage that collects until I do one of these things. So it's a good thing. Some peanut brittle because you never know when you're going to be hungry. That I might keep out because I just, things get lost in here. I have candies. Look at this. I have candy and bars. Sometimes I forget. I have another plastic bag in there. I'm sound, I probably sound like a crazy bag lady. I am a crazy bag lady, I guess. And then here are some other snacks that I'm going to leave out. Pens. Calculator. I do, you know, there's a calculator on the phone. But I don't know, I just, you know, you're using your phone for something else and I just like having an actual calculator. So I keep that with me and I haven't used this though. So if I don't, I think I am going to put it to the side because I have not used it and I really want to try to condense this bag. Here is a brush. Since I have cut my hair, I really haven't needed a brush. So I might put this in my other bag. Uh, just taking up space here. Really being cutthroat, guys. I know it doesn't seem like it, but this is... I'm doing good. Uh, a charger uh, for the wall. So I am going to keep that because I always use this. Next is... Oh, where's my portable charger? Oh, I put it in the front. Okay, the rest of this stuff, which I am so embarrassed to show you, is like all... Can you see it? It's... No, you can't see it. Let's see. It's all garbage. It's like tissues. I know that sounds so gross, but I just throw it in there and just more candy, a clip. So that is that. For I have more pens. I don't know why I have so many pens, but I will con I will condense it to maybe two. Oh, I know why. This is going to sound crazy. But I like having a Sharpie. I like having one of these felt tip pens. And I guess these, I don't know. So I will choose from here. Those three regular like ballpoint pens. Sunglasses, very important. Even in the winter. Last week, I remember the sun was so bright and traffic was out of control. Um, but I have polarized sunglasses. These are out. Oh, this is a a different case than when it came in but these are my Warby Parker Wayfarers they're a little too big so I want to get another pair that are a little bit smaller and don't move I need you know I have the Asian nose which is kind of flat and so you need a bridge okay so this is gonna go into one of the side pockets and you know what? I'm gonna pause you and plug you in because I think my battery is about to run out Okay, if you're at a slightly different angle, it's because my battery moved the phone. Uh, what else is in here? Gum, very important. I will keep it with the sunglasses. I I am a very 
structured, I guess, not structured person. I don't know. I just, I won't remember if I move something to somewhere else. So I'm just going to keep it with the sunglasses. Here's my portable charger. I know it's kind of odd that I have two chargers, but I just, you know, it's, I should probably keep the wall charger at work. Um, and this just in my purse, but I ha I just carry around both with me. And actually today I was charging, I keep my Bluetooth speaker because sometimes we use that. And I use the wall plug-in to charge that. So it's kind of, I guess I, I could use this, but I like to use this just for my phone. So I am going to put this in this huge, I love it. This bag comes with a huge inside pocket. And I would love to hear your suggestions on how I could be better organized, what you guys use in your purse, what your purse must-haves are, what I could change in here, because I know we can all improve, and, you know, that's what I strive to to be is better and get more organized and stuff like that. Uh, this, I'm going to keep with my electronics, so, you know what, let me get the plug. And I'll put that with my charger. These are my headphones that I keep in here. It's gotten a little dent, but that's I like this because it does protect my headphones and they don't get frayed or anything like that. Next is, let's see, I have matches in here. Uh, this, I was going to actually, to be honest, I was going to use this, put this, leave this in the bathroom. Uh, because there's no windows or anything and it, it gets kind of crazy in there after lunch. I'm just saying. It just... It happens. Everybody does it. Uh, USB. I have used this. So I'm going to put that with the electronics. These are tissues. So I'll put that in this side. The other side. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have weighed my bag. You know what? I am going to do that. I will literally take everything out of here. Put it back to this bag. And weigh it. And then let's see if I have lost any pounds. Okay, so I weighed the bag, and I was being silly before when I said I'll dump everything back in and out. I just weighed them together. I put the stuff that I took out and put to the side. I put it in here, and then I put this stuff in here, and I weighed it. 7.8 pounds! I'm carrying almost 10 pounds of extra stuff because I do put some of my lunch bag in there and my, uh, my sneakers and just... I'm carrying a lot of weight around on my arm. No wonder it's getting way down and then let's see to continue we're almost done I have one more pocket I think to go through no okay so in this middle pocket here I have a bunch of let's see so I have this face mist, which I used it when I first put it in the bag, but to be honest with you, I haven't used it. So that's probably going to go back to my makeup area. Lip balm. I never reach for this because I forget that it's in here. So maybe I'll put that into my makeup bag, which I'm going to show you in a second. A hair tie, very important. Another clip. Uh, moist towelettes. These things I just, I like to have it, but I don't reach for it, so I'm probably going to get... This might go into my makeup bag because I feel like I might need to use that. I don't think I... I didn't sh show you guys this. Okay. So I might have to... Okay. I'm trying to think about what I'm going to do after this. Uh, hand sanitizer, which I never use because I don't feel like... I feel like it dries out my hands. So I'll probably put that to the side. And then these are the refreshed tears that I use because... When you do, when you get LASIK done, your eyes get dry. Another hair tie. These are uh, cough drops. And then, so here is my makeup bag. And then here is kind of like, I have pads in here. And I have band-aids and things like that. I think I do love this because it's for my friend. But I, uh, this is a little bit bigger, but not so big that... Um, you know, it's because I used to carry around a huge small bag inside my bag. And so I kind of wanted to, 
I thought this was doable, but it's just, in fact, probably the same size as the big bag if I put them together. So I think I'm going to take this out and put the stuff into here. And this came from one of the students last year, which I love. I think it's so cute. So I'm going to use this. And I guess that's it. I'm going to weigh... I'm going to fix this. I'm going to weigh the bag and I will let you know how much the how much the bag weighs after uh, updating it and moving things around. Look who decided to make a guest appearance. Hi Ava. Sit. Sit. Good girl. So, I weighed my bag and you know what I decided to do was this is purely for makeup. So, I just I decided to keep it that way so that that's why I did the two bag thing. And this is band-aids and pads and, you know, other uh, toiletry kind of stuff. So I weighed it, and it is now half the size it used to be. So actually, not half the size. It's 4.8 pounds, and altogether it weighed 7.8 pounds. So I lost 3 pounds of stuff, which is amazing, and I'm very, very happy. And I feel like I could even get a... I really want to get a nice leather bag, um, that's kind of like a satchel, but not as big as like, let's say this kind, it's, this one is really big. So I kind of want to upgrade a little bit. Um, uh, but yeah, I am very, very happy. This is my current bag and yeah, we'll see how long, how, how well I keep this up because I am known to just stuff and stuff and stuff things into my bag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and yeah, I will talk to you soon. Bye!